It is called a bunion. A bone is becoming more prominent on the inside of the foot. It is a part of your normal foot and not a growth of new bone. The foot bones are starting to spread out, making the bone more prominent. Most commonly, it is hereditary. Tight shoes will often bring out the problem sooner. Poor foot structure, i.e. flat feet, may also contribute to the problem. Generally, bunions cannot be avoided if there is a genetic component. You may wear shoes that are wider in the toe box. This may delay the onset of bunions and prevent them from getting very painful. Eventually, a bunion will appear if you are predisposed to it. Pulling the big toe away from the second toe and wearing a toe spacer will be of limited benefit in the long term. Over the time, the bones in the feet spread out further, making a bunion appear larger. It may take months to many years, but they will almost always get worse, especially if you are pronated or flat-footed. Over the years, the big toe joint will become affected by the separating the bones of the foot. Cartilage will start to wear thin, and some degree of arthritis may develop. It may be mild, causing pain occasionally with movement of the toe, or severe, causing pain with every step. The arthritis that may develop is different from the pain directly on the bunion. Shoes that are narrow put pressure on the skin, nerves, and bone. Numbness or tingling may also develop as the nerve gets compressed against the bone by tight shoes. Wider shoes are the first step in the treatment process. This will take pressure off all the skin, nerves, and bone. If the foot is functioning poorly and orthotic, custom molded inserts into the shoes will help. Occasionally, oral medication, steroid injections, and physical therapy will be of some benefit. Bunions can be corrected surgically if the bunion is painful and it is unresponsive to conservative care. In some cases, small bunions even hurt much more than large bunions. Surgical correction may take place after a thorough history and physical examination. X-rays are performed to see the degree of the deformity. A treatment plan is then formulated based on the physical findings and the lifestyle of the patient. The procedures are done outpatient and the patient chooses the type of anesthesia they prefer. Some choose to go completely to sleep and others to be minimally sedated. The procedure takes less than one hour to perform and it is done in an outpatient center. There are tight tendons and ligaments in the foot that need to be loosened and loose tendons and ligaments that need to be tightened during the surgical procedure. The bone that is sticking out is precisely cut with a special saw and it is positioned back into the foot in its normal pre-bunion anatomical position. A small screw or pen may be used to stabilize the bone after it has been cut. In a small number of cases, the pen or screw may need to be removed at a later time. The cutting of the bone allows the big toe to be straightened and the bunion to be completely eliminated. The bunion is minimally shaved down. When done correctly by an experienced surgeon, minimal pain is involved. Our practice has done more than 5,000 bunion surgeries. We advise people to stay off their foot for two or three days after surgery. A surgical boot is utilized for a period of six weeks to protect the area and allow it to heal properly. It usually requires four days of rest at home before returning to work. A special surgical shoe or boot is given to take stress off the area and prevent problems from developing post-operatively. For everyone, it is different. It will usually take four to six weeks to get back into flat shoes or sneakers. Heels may take two to three months. Stationary bicycles may be used one to two weeks after surgery. Running sports and activities may require six or more weeks. In almost all cases, yes. In almost all cases, it will not. Over time, there is a slight tendency for the big toe to slightly drift towards the second, but there isn't pain and the bunion doesn't recur. Patients with flat feet are more susceptible to recurrence many years later. Orthotics are often used to help prevent recurrence. Yes, if the surgical procedure is done correctly a second time, the results may be outstanding provided that there are no arthritic changes in the joint. If there are arthritic changes, many surgical options are available to correct the deformity. Techniques have changed dramatically over the last 20 years. Bunions used to be shaved off, leaving the joint uncorrected. Pain and recurrence were common. When performed by an experienced board-certified podiatric surgeon, results are usually excellent. The doctors at Foot, Ankle, and Leg Specialists of South Florida have performed thousands of bunion surgeries with great success and minimal complications.
In almost all cases, it is excellent. The earlier the treatment, the better the long-term prognosis because arthritic changes are minimized.